Recently, I was reminded of a beautiful story. There was a uh, Maulana, a Sheikh, studied the sciences, the outer, the learning. And, uh, he's been told, you know, there's after the learning, there's a path, a spiritual path. Let's go find a, a master who can give me something beyond the outer. So he comes to a Sufi master. You know, Sufi masters, their words usually don't uh, sit with people immediately because they speak from haqaiq, they speak from realities which we are veiled from. They see from beyond. Their wisdom is deeper. And only later in life, maybe a year later, maybe 50 years later, do people realize, oh, that man spoke from that level then. This is why these people have insight. So he came to one Sufi master and uh, he said to the master, I've come to you after my studies, teach me something. Give me what you have. Tell me something that I can follow. And you know, they speak in simple words. He said, uh, the master said to him, consider Allah better than you. Consider Allah to be better than you. If you can't do that, at least think him to be equal to you and not less. What's he saying? Consider Allah to be better. If you can't think of me to be better, then he's equal. And if not, don't consider him less than you. And this person has been teaching Tawheed all his life and avoiding shirk. And then, wait, wait. Stayed for a few days. A few days passed. Normal routine. He found nothing extra. Again, he came to the Sufi master. Give me some advice. I've come to you. The master said, look, consider Allah to be better than you. If not better than you, at least equal to you, not less. Then sit with him. So one day, the, uh, this Maulana, he, he wanted to take permission to leave because he found nothing, nothing what he was looking for. So the Sufi master said to him, wait for a day, go after a day, give it a day, then leave. So he agreed. He said, I've been here so many days, one extra day, no harm. So the Sufi master sent the sheikh this young man who's come, Leonard, on a, uh, on a job, go, go do something for me. And when he sent him, he, sent, he asked his servant, or his khadim, or murid, or whoever, the master, to give him some food for his journey. But he said to him, in the food, give him fresh chapatis with ghee, Real top quality stuff, right? Give him them and give him some normal chapatis and give him some old dried bread. Put it all in the bag for him, let him go. And then, when he's on the journey, the master sent somebody to him who behaved like a beggar. And the beggar came now and said to the student, Sheikh, for Allah's sake, give me something. So the Sheikh opened up. He's uh, this student of knowledge, I don't want to say sheikh, opened up this bag of food. He found three types of food. The best food that he wanted for himself, good food, and then dried bread. But no, not good for nobody. So he said to himself, look, if I give him the good quality bread, what am I going to have? And if I give him the good bread, what about me? He's a beggar, he'll, he's happy with, he's got nothing, he'll be happy with anything. Let me give him the dried bread. So he gave him the dried bread, thinking good of himself, I've given in the way of Allah, ate the food, then the job came back. He's about to take permission to leave. He said, can I leave to the Shaykh, the Sufi master? The Sufi master said, did I not tell you, if you can't think Allah to be better than you, at least make him equal to you. Don't make him less than you. And then he realized that, Maulana realized what the Shaykh taught. And this is something not just uh, orchestrated. This is actually a truth that occurs to all of us every day. Every day there's going to be something you do. Something that comes before you that is from Allah as a test. It's not that Allah himself is going to come and say, give me something. He sends, it's he who's in control. So you leave your home and uh, you, you come to a junction 
You can give way to a car, but you decide not to put your foot down. Get right next to that bumper. Don't give him way. You know, it's not about you and him. It's about you and Allah. Not about you and him. People can't give nothing. It's about your relationship with Allah. Are you preferring God over yourself? Give way. Give way. Let him be. You go to work. You know, it's time to make break time and uh, you know okay, either I'm going to get up and offer people tea and I have to go stand in the kitchen and make the tea or let somebody else do it okay at the worst well, let me make my own we have these opportunities to each one of us I'm even if you're sleeping all day long there's going to be something where you are tested where you've got a choice to make even if you're sleeping oh, I've got up you're, you're married man I've got up I've got a choice do I fold my duvet or do I leave for the missus to do it small things right the point being is always if there is an eye to find you're going to find always there's going to be an opportunity to do ta'zeem of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if you can make him greater than yourself that's best if not then don't make him lower than yourself 